Apart from the beach, Hua Hin has a lot more to offer its visitors. The Hua Hin Hills Vineyard is just one of the many attractions there. And this is where we found our very own wine connoisseur golfer. The sparkling Yamo Sandalin took some downtime to spend a day with us at the vineyard. It's very interesting to see the process of how, how wine is actually produced. And it's uh, good to, to ask a lot of questions and, uh, and uh, get the right answers. When you ask your friends, they always think they know what they're talking about. But, uh, now at least I can trust that they, they know what they're doing. Yamo, who turns 45 this year, knows he still has a lot to offer to the game of golf as he matures even more. As they say, fine wine gets better with age. This ever cheerful Swede had already tasted success in the past and will be sniffing out new ones on the Asian tour. I am a good wine that's still maturing. I think I'm in the stage where uh, where it's uh, it's gonna happen that I get back on track, on tour, play well, uh, or maybe I start to think about doing something else before I'm 50, because I'm really looking forward to the senior tour. And like a good vintage, Yamo saw himself maturing and evolving as he gets older. Gone were the days where his playful and colourful antics entertain the crowd. The new, improved and focused Yamo Sandlin has arrived. I'm probably more, uh, clothing-wise, more to the traditional side now. It's not because uh, I don't like the funky, colourful stuff. It's just, uh, it's nice to be basic sometimes. Not always have the most colourful hats on. And that's Daly doing that, so that's good. John Daly, fine. It looks great. <laughs> Away from the course, this affable and enigmatic golfer has also put in the time and energy to help the less fortunate. So much so that he often puts others before himself. Four years ago, his efforts to raise money for charity took a heavy toll on his career. That year, he lost his card on the European tour. 2007, I had my first charity event and uh, we raised some money for uh, young uh, kids in Sweden that uh, is struggling. They maybe have an interest in sport or cu culture activities. Uh, they have uh, a chance to, to get help from my foundation. And the second time we had it, 2009. And my fellow pros have helped me. We usually are 24 pro-am teams. Thank you very much to the pros that have been helping out. And, uh, the idea was to have it again 2011, but it takes a lot of time. And uh, in the same time, my golf started to struggle a lot. And uh, I need to focus for the moment more on the game. And uh, if I start to play really good and win tournaments, uh, the charity thing will come out automatically again, where I raise more money. Sandalin, who turned pro when he was 20, has five European tour victories under his belt. That good harvest of titles were in the years between 1995 and 2001. But he has yet to reproduce that form and is currently fighting for his right to go on tour once more, this time in Asia. Basically, I played the two school in Europe and uh, I didn't make it. And uh, I got the opportunity to play the final stage in Asia and uh, I love to play in Asia. My last tournament I won was the BMW Asian Open. It's a long time ago now, I think it was 2002, and uh, the lifestyle in Asia is very, very good, and uh, hopefully I play well at this qualifying and I can play on the Asian tour and, uh, and do well. Yamo knows just how big the Asian tour qualifying school is to him and what is at stake. Having been through this stage several times in the past, especially in Europe, he's well aware of the pressure and the emotion that comes with it. It's very easy when it goes good, you know, the ups are really good to, to live with because uh, it's very comfortable. And when it goes the other way, it's, I think you really need to find out what's wrong. And I, in my case has been probably a little bit of the motivation. 
to really motivate yourself to go out there and practice every every day and uh, when you lose that then it's easy that uh, obviously your game is gonna go the same direction and uh, and uh, and that's when you have to make a choice what whatever you're gonna do in life you have to have the motivation to do it otherwise you're just gonna lay on the beach I will be back on track more motivated than ever and hopefully I do well this uh, at the qualifying and I can be back on tour and coupled with the discipline that he's instilled in himself success for our 45 year old Swede could very well be just around the corner